Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I'm going to show you how to use the heat and stick and the gold glitter to get this effect right here. I showed these on my blog yesterday and I want to just make a note that these are done on three different cardstock mediums. So this one was done on just regular cherry cobbler cardstock. This one here was done on the vanilla uh, vellum cardstock and then this one on the box was done using the designer series paper. So you can do this technique on all different types of cardstock. So today I'm going to show you how I did this right here, the poinsettia. So we're going to start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock and I'm just going to put it in at four and a quarter because I'm going to make the gift card holder with one side and that will be the video on Monday using our new envelope punch envelope punch something I'll have punch board I'll have it on my blog so on this piece here I'm going to do the poinsettia so we're going to start out with the gold encore ink and we need the poinsettia and then we're going to need the heat and stick. And then we're also going to need the glitter. So first thing I'm going to do is use my embossing buddy. And I'm going to rub that over the cherry cobbler cardstock. Then I am going to ink up my poinsettia with the gold encore ink. And now I am going to stamp that on the cherry cobbler. Pressing down on the center, just like that. And then I'm going to put it in the heat and stick. Now with heat and stick, you gotta watch because you only want it to go heat it until it's clear. If you heat it too long, it's not gonna be tacky. You just want it to be clear and then it turns into like a glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat that up. And this will only take a couple seconds because you want to go quickly because you just want to get it so it's not white so you can see the gold because now it's tacky if I put my finger on there it would come right off the table I just want to get rid of that white look and now it's very sticky and now I'm going to put it in the gold glitter now this is glitter it's not embossing powder it's glitter and you want to give it a flick. And then what you're going to do is you're going to heat set that again. And what you're going to do is you're going to melt that heat and stick a little bit more so it's going to hold that glitter. You're melting that glitter into the heat and stick. And you can kind of smell it. If you, you know, if you could smell through camera, you would smell that it's going in there. And you just want to go around, you'll see it gets real sparkly and shiny and that means it's melting into that heat and stick. So I just go around and make sure I got it all really good. This is really, 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 really pretty in real life. Cameras just don't do it justice. Then what I do is I take uh, just a regular makeup brush or you can use a Swiffer and I just want to get off that excess glitter. So I clean it off as best I can. And then you're gonna just take a scissors and cut that out. And I have another little tip for you. So you're gonna do that twice. You're gonna stamp that twice with the glitter and you're gonna cut out one like this. And the other one, you're gonna cut out the center. But you can still use this. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, here we go. You're gonna put um, glue dots on the back. kind of all close to the edge here because what we're going to do is nobody's going to know that that's cut out it saves you having to stamp and cut another one and then we're just going to kind of bring this so overlap the petals a little bit it makes it looks like you got two on top of each other and see it's cut out I missed that one dot right there and then with this one here Oh, I forgot to grab the dimensionals. But what you would do is you would take some dimensionals 
And then you're just going to match it up on here where you cut it out. Oh, thanks, Dean. I'm going to put a dimensional because you like that dimension with the glitter. So I'm matching where I cut that other one out. Pop that up like that. And you're going to do the same technique with the old olive. And then you're just going to place a couple of glue dots on the back. The glue dots don't like to stick to the glitter very much, so I place it on the cardstock, so like that. And then I'm going to try and stick a couple more here. Like so. And then you would put your pearls in the center. So that's how I did all the poinsettias on all my projects with the heat and stick and the glitter. So that's your tip for today. On Monday, stop back and I'm going to show you how to make this new gift card holder using the emblem punch board. Like so. So there you go. That's your tip for the day. Heat and stick and glitter. Thanks for stopping by.